How we doing good today, guys? Good, thank you. Well, well, uh, cheers. 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 So I'm an Englishman. <laughs> well, King, uh, from right here, uh, obviously uh, hostile territory here in Manchester. Uh, is this an uh, environment that you thrive in, coming across the pond and challenging one of their hometown fighters? I don't know if it's been so hostile yet. I've been getting love. I didn't know I'm international, you know? I've been getting love. Um, I got one objective, go out there and do what I do. I'm not really tripping about the crowd or anything like that. That's not even important. They can't fight. They can't get in the cage, you know? And so it's just me and him. Bilal was in here too, and he said he was he was surprised at the amount of love he would get walking around the city. Uh, were you expecting maybe a more hostile reaction and that kind of caught you off guard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be honest, I was kind of shocked. Like, I didn't met at least a good 10 people say, hey, fuck Patty up. I'm like, what? You're English. You're from over here. He's like, yeah, but we don't like him. He talks too much. He's like this. I'm like, wow. So I like it. He was in here earlier, and, uh, you know, he said he doesn't want to call you king. His reasoning was, you know, CTE is real when he's talking about you. So uh, what's your reaction to him not wanting, you know, call you by the name that you've chosen? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Um, this is the thing. He's been talking a lot, and I feel like it's been kind of pissing me off. But then I realized, I want to start thinking about it today. I was like, man, my shit has been tested through time. We know what I do. I do this every time. Yeah, you come up short a little once in a blue moon, cool. But his has not been tested. He has to go in there and deal with that, you know? And especially uh, to do to say what you're saying, you got to go back that up. Like his stinker fight, he threw a fight against Tony. That shit was a stinker. You know, when I went to Tony, it was a totally different reaction in, in, the, in the two fights. Uh, you said that he's been talking about you, but he brought up a video from, I think, uh, a couple of years ago. And you said that you started started this by videotaping him and saying stuff. And you're the first person to bring him up. So in your mind, where did this actually start? Um, He's correct. He's correct. Uh, the thing is, the kid is, was getting a little too brash, you know, like I'm a humble guy. I believe in me humble. For some reason, he keeps kind of calling me the cocky guy. He's a cocky fucker. But, uh, like, to me, it's like I've earned my spot. I've been here for so long. I think I'm here 12 years now, you know, fighting. And not just 12 years where I fight once a year and I hang out and then I come back the next year and I fight. Like, no, consistently, like, doing four, five fights a year, you know. And so, for me, it's a little bit different where I've earned my, my spot. That guy was running his mouth and doing all this barking, and I'm like, who is that guy, you know? And then he got into it with Ariel, and he was trying to make Ariel pay him. I'm like, what? Ariel don't pay nobody. Ariel don't pay Conor McGregor. Why does we got to pay that guy? And so he just started, like, acting like he was, like, the big shit, you know? And it's like, man, you don't know, like, I think that the problem for me is, like, I call him the spoil kid, you know, the spoil kid. Certain kids that don't know that you got the, you got the whole house. Everything's been built around you. And I think it goes back for me to like my, my days where I come from, like, cause I didn't have a mom and dad. I seen those kids act like that at school. I'm like, man, they don't even know how they treat their mom and their dad. They're like spoiled, you know? And he has the same way. It's like, he doesn't realize the UFC is working with him, giving him every opportunity. They're building you. I had to earn it. They had to put me through the fire. I've been forged by fire. You, they they built you, you know, and there's a difference between us two. And so, I don't want to talk too much. But. Uh, well, kind of going off of that, uh, even when you made your debut, like, all the way back against Jacob Volkman to now, you, like you said, you went through the fire, and, you know, Patty's kind of had this rise in, in popularity. Does any sort of part of you resent, like, the UFC's kind of putting all this behind him when you've been doing this for so long? That's what I'm saying. You, that's what I'm saying. It's the spoiled kids versus the cool kids, you know, the real ones. That, like, you don't know that he's getting just the door open. He gets to walk through it. And all he has to do is shut up, smile, and he's got the whole uh, oyster, you know? But somewhere in there, he has to start getting brash. I feel like once you start winning, you can get drunk off of it, you know, where you start feeling yourself, and you're like, man, and he starts talking shit. He's feeling himself like, yeah. But somebody hasn't popped that bubble yet. You know, nobody's burst your bubble and let you know, like, that's a false reality. Um, so he came back. To, he came over here to my side of, of it. I'm like, oh, there he is. That's that guy's been talking shit. So um, he said I was scared to go up to him or something. First of all, I was with my girl, and I noticed he was with his girl. And the girl I was with, she's a gangster. She would have jumped in the fight with me. 
and probably try to beat his girlfriend up or something like that. So it's like, I just knew the situation where it was going to be. I was like, nah, it's probably not a good idea. I'm just going to pick at him and just go, hey, Patty, Patty, you know. And I was telling my guys to tag him and, and something to let him know I'm on his scent, you know. It wasn't nothing like, oh, my God, I'm going to pick it. I need to fight him right now or nothing like that. I'm just being funny. But it's ever since that was the first time. And so I started it, yeah. In terms of the actual fight, he's been on record saying, you know, let's see if he has the balls to grapple me and there's levels to this shit. Um, how, so how do you see this fight playing out? I was telling him, if he wants to grapple, bro, uh, there's grappling matches, you know, this thing called grappler quest and all that. We came to see a fight. And I don't know about them, but I know the Englishmen want to see a fight. You know, they want to see somebody go out there and throw those knuckles. And so if he wants to do a grapple match, I told him, just lay on his back. Just lay on your back and see how it goes from there. Just go ahead and lay on your back and see if you want to do a jiu-jitsu match. I came to fight. And, and don't think I'm scared of the ground. Look at our two fights. I tapped Tony out. He couldn't even tap him. You know, I don't know why people keep thinking I don't got this grappling. So he uh, he also tapped out, uh, what's his name, Jordan? Jordan, Jordan Levy. Levy, yeah. So I hit Jordan up. Jordan was my guy. I hit him up. Said, Let's train together, you know. I want to see what this is all about. I tapped out Jordan like three times. I was like, he didn't do anything special. Like, but, but people don't know us. I got jujitsu too. It's just like, it's not the thing that people want to see. Like, I'll, I'll listen to the crowd and then go, Boo, I'm like, oh, that's not a good sign. So I don't do those things, you know. Once my crowd starts let me know they don't like what they want to see, I don't want to give you that that you don't want to see. You guys pay for this, so I'm going to give you what you want. Bobby, two more quick ones. Um, uh, I don't know if you saw, but on November 1st, they're going to introduce a new rule set that they approved that will allow 12. Oh, I was going to be trying to tear him up right now. I thought it was already approved. November I was going to go 12 to 6 if he dropped his head down there. He's getting to 12 to 6. 12 to 6. <laughs> But I guess not. Okay. They also are redefining the ground opponent, so you need more than just your hand on that. So I think that's, that's all November. Yeah, November first in. Oh, okay. Man, I was about to be doing some shit. I like it's new rules. I tell my buddies, I'm going 12 to six on these guys. Uh, and well, I guess I gotta wait. And then final one. Can I just get your thoughts on the main and co-main? Main and co-main. Uh, I like Aspinall. Tom's the shit. You know, Tom's. I feel like the new age heavyweight. Love to see his style, you know. I used to be like a Sergey fan, and he creamed Sergey. So I was like, man, I like I like the way he was balancing and move. I'm like, look at his head for he move like that. So that was dope. Like he's got it, and he understands more fighting to me and what fighting should look like. So I'm going with Tom on that one. I don't pick by what I think. I pick by who I like and who I think is the shit, you know. And then I'm gonna go with Leon, you know. Leon, headshot, you know. Bang, let's go, Bobby. Paddy believes that he will knock you out on the feet. What have you made of his stand-up so far since his UFC debut? See, that guy talks a lot. It's, and, and, and the difference is he's got to back it up. He's got to back it up. He was shooting all over Tony. He was trying to sniff somebody's crotch, you know. Um, to me, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. you got to prove it. He's going to knock me out. He's going to knock me out. And, and, and I'm being humble. That's a possibility. Anything's possible in this game. You could throw a lucky shot and catch a guy. But I've never seen him hurt a guy with one shot, you know. He's going hit, to hit me with more than one shot. I don't know. I don't see it possible. Are you enjoying the verbal back and forth with him? Do you feel like it's going to bring out the best of you? I think he is, you know. Um, I got this thing when you start saying certain things to me, I take it so personal that, like, I don't forget it and, and I and it and it pushes me to a new level. My coach is like, man, he's excited for this fight because he knows most guys don't say stuff like this, you know? So I, it gets me to another place. When I finally find something I can find on him, that's what I did to to Dawson. I mean, that's what I did to to uh, whatever his name is. All these, Al, Alakinta, you know, those guys that got finished, they were saying little things that I was like, oh, he said something that's interesting now. I'm mad. And so he's going to put me in that place where I'm going to lose myself. When you get in that flow state with that crisp boxing, it's really exciting to watch. But I think your opponents get that confidence from when you drop your hands. Is that something that you'll still be looking to do on Saturday night? I know it's like a, a taunting aspect that you like to do, get them into a false sense of confidence. Is that something that will always be a part of your game? Um, it's the thing that sets me apart from everyone else. Who else you see out there with their hands down? I'm the only guy. I don't know what that was, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But yeah, I'm the head only guy, you know. I gotta be, I gotta be something that's different from everybody else. You know, I don't want to be like everybody else. I don't look like everybody else, as you can see. You know, I don't want to be like nobody else. And so, to me, those things are more important than, than just trying to win a fight. Like to impress an English man is more important to me than to go out there and win the fight. Some things are more important than just winning. Those guys got lost in that. I was impressed on on the package I'm bringing. Every time I come, it's it's this, you know. You're not gonna you're gonna get a, a 90 percent. Oh, that was a fight of the night type of stuff. Energy with me, and so I like to stay more so there. You know, um, it's a lot behind what I do and what I do it. Earlier today, there's an interview came out with Paddy where he admitted that five weeks ago his coaches were considering pulling him from the fight because mentally he wasn't feeling up for it, feeling up for a camp. When you hear that, is that something you can take? Can you take anything away from that? Or do you think, hey, he's just dealing with his own personal battle and it's nothing to do with it? Did him? he say why? He just said he was feeling depressed. There's a lot of stuff going he on. He said that it was the hardest camp because he had his babies. There was some other stuff as well. I think he lost. You know, and that was bothering him. And so I had to make sure he knows I had a baby. Like he had his babies like a year ago, you know? I had babies during this actual camp, and that's the difference between me and him. I'm going to keep proving it. I'm going to keep proving it. That's the difference between you and I. There's, it's levels, and I can name a thousand things why we're different, a thousand things why we're different. I had babies during this camp. My baby, a month old now, so that means I had it in camp, you know? And so don't even trip. I'm going to show the difference between us. Do you look at him, you said he's like the spoiled kid, right? And you're the guy who went through the fire. Do you think it's almost like your duty to the other guys like you, the other veterans, to prove that, hey, these young guys might be getting all the shine from the promotion, but they, if they don't have the skill, they can't beat us? Facts, facts, you know? It's just what it is. And I keep hearing so many people, you know, kick his ass, kick his ass. Like, it's a I've never seen so many people want to see him get his ass kicked. It's kind of amazing to me. I'm like, what the? I would think you would like him. No, 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 no. Everybody doesn't want to. Everybody wants to see him get his ass kicked. Jeez. King over here. You said a lot about Paddy's character and his personality. As an actual fighter, what do you think he does well and what do you think you need to be most wary of when you're in there with him on Saturday? <laughs> this would be a... I'm not trying to be an asshole or anything like that because this is going to sound wild, but I, don't, I want to say nothing. But... Like, I'm not trying to discredit him like that either, okay? I'm not trying to be like him and talk a bunch of shit and, and, and put the man down. I'm saying he's not, bad, he's not bad at nothing, okay? But I don't know. I just see, like, oh, you're not, like, there's certain levels at this that you can see because I've been on the war field so long that I can look at a warrior and go, oh, that's a warrior right there. I can see, oh, he's a warrior. She's a warrior, you know? Just in a matter of, of a minute of watching your fight, I can watch how you move, what you do, how you're doing your setups tells me how long you've been in this game and how well you're, you're versed at this. And I went, oh, he doesn't know that. Oh, he does this thing. He doesn't do that well. Interesting. He should know that by now if he thinks he's this and that, you know. But that's just my own take. I'm not trying to really put the man down. I'm having a good time out here. I'm going to kick his ass. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to fucking talk shit to him because I know what I'm doing. Like, he doesn't know what he's about to get into. He couldn't find a guy in England that looked like me or moved like me. He couldn't find not one person here. I can find a thousand hymns. And in terms of your career, you know, you've been in the UFC fighting at the top level for a long time now, putting on exciting fights over and over again. At this stage in your career, what is, what is the main career goal for King Green right now? This, this new chapter of your career under your, under your newly adopted name. It's been the same goal. The goal ain't never changed. Get some money, you know? Get some money and get a lot of it. Uh, but really, like, uh, like, I got three houses right now. I got an apartment complex. So paying those things off now, just having ownership. That's why I call myself king also, is me and my boys were arguing, and I was like, none of, like, especially with black guys. There's a bunch of black guys in the room. You can't tell a black guy he's not a king. Everybody feels like you're a king, and everybody wants to be a king. It's just they're like the thing with black guys. So I'm like, uh, this is the thing, though. Where's your castle? And they're like, uh, oh, I got a house. Or I got I got an apartment that I rent. You know, I got a house that I rent. I'm like, yeah, but any day if you don't pay your rent, they'll take that motherfucker. You know. And so it's about ownership. And I was like, oh, you don't own it. You don't. You're not a king. And so the work that it takes to own a home. 
it, it takes a lot of work. It takes 30 years on a 30-year mortgage. It takes a blah, 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 you know? And so for me, it's, it's, I own one of my houses already, you know? I'm going on my second to be owned and stuff. So it's like ownership, you know? You can't take this from me. I, I built this. I earned this, and, and it's mine. Thanks very much. King, King back here. King. Oh, yeah, there we go. I got one more question. Who is he? Do, do I get to here. pick who? I want to pick who. <laughs> who all had the questions? I like the guy with the red hair. I got to give it to the guy with the red Oh, man, well, no, no. We got to give it to my boy over here. Give it to my boy. Go ahead. Got to give you some love. All right. Obviously, you're no stranger to Armin and Islam, so I just wanted your thoughts on how you think that fight's going to go down. Oh, I don't like your question. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go here. Let's go here. <laughs> I got to shake it up a little bit. Let's shake it up. We seen Patty with the orange shorts. When are you getting your custom shorts? Oh, don't you, you know how to piss me off? See, you know how to piss me off. That's why I'm kicking his ass a little bit more. He, that's what I'm talking about. The spoiled kids. I've worked so hard for this fucking company. I, I took so many fights on short notice, broken hand, this and that. Threw the company on my back a thousand times. Fought a guy, had to come back fight Islam 10 days later. I've done the most for this fucking company to get my shorts. But this guy just gets to come here and walk in and get them. It's like, wow, okay. That's what I'm talking about, that spoiled shit. All he had to do was say, hey, I want my shorts. They give me shorts. So now I'm going to kick his ass for that reason. I'm kicking his ass for that. And that's it. Let's go.